morning children today we will read the third part of the lesson written by satyajit rai before we read the third part of the lesson uh, let us do a quick recap of the story the main character of the story mr bibin chaudhary's only passion was his reading books so every morning he goes to kali charan's uh, bookshop to buy books a man named parimal ghosh met him at the bookshop uh, and started talking to him as if he were uh, his old friend but bibin babu had never met him before so he talked to him about his week long ranji trip in 1958 bibin babu was at lost as he was not able to remember any incident of the ranji trip parimal ghosh was shocked at bibin babu's forgetfulness he even told him he could confirm it from uh, dinesh mukherjee who was also with them during the trip this meeting uh, with parimal ghosh really left bibin babu very anxious he began uh, feeling he had something wrong with his brain he was unable to focus on his work as he tried a lot to recall any event from the ranji trip but in vain he called mr dinesh mukherjee to confirm to his utter shock he also validated about the trip now let's read uh, the part 3 and see what happens next in the story after lunch time bibin babu realized that he couldn't possibly carry on what is the meaning of carry on carry on means continue uh, sitting at his desk and working this had never happened in the 25 years he had been with the firm he had a reputation for being a tireless conscientious worker what is the meaning of conscientious careful and correct but today his head was in a whirl head was in a whirl is an idiom and the meaning is confused and unable to think clearly back home at 2:30 bibin babu lay down in bed and tried to gather his his wits together gather his wits together is an idiom meaning is make an effort to become calm and think clearly he knew that it was possible to lose one's memory through an injury in the head but he didn't know of a single instance of some someone remembering everything except one particular incident and a fair, fairly recent and significant one here significant means important significance one at that He had always wanted to go to Ranchi to have gone there done things and not to remember was something utterly impossible here utterly means totally utterly impossible at 7:30 pibin babu servant came and announced chuni babu sir says it's very important bibin babu knew what chuni la, uh, chuni lal had come chuni had come for chuni lal had been at school with him he had been having a rough time having a rough time here is an idiom means having a lot of problems lately and had been coming to see him about a job 
Bibin Babu knew it was not possible to do anything for him and in fact told him so. But Chuni kept turning up like a bad penny. Turning up like a bad penny uh, is, a, is an idiom. We will see the meaning. Appearing at a place where one is not welcome. Bibin Babu sent word that not only was it uh, not possible for him to see Chuni now, but not in several weeks. But as soon as the uh, servant stepped out of the room, it struck Bibin Babu that Chuni might remember something about the 58 trip. There was no harm in asking him. Bibin Babu hurried down the stairs and into the living room. Chuni was about to leave. But seeing Bibin Babu appear, he turned round hopefully. Bibin Babu didn't beat about the bush. Didn't beat about the bush, also an idiom. The meaning is came straight to the point. Listen Chuni, I want to ask you something. You have a good memory and you have been seeing me off and on for a long time. Here off and on means now and then. Just throw your mind back and tell me did I go to Ranchi in 58. Throw your mind back means think back and recall a past event. After lunch time, Bibin Babu couldn't concentrate on his work. He had been working with the firm the last 25 years. He had a reputation for being a tireless, conscientious worker, but for the first time it happened in his life. He couldn't concentrate on his work. Whatever Parimal Kosh and Mr. Dinesh Mukherjee had told him, uh, that he had been to Ranchi disturbed him constantly. He knew that he had never been to Ranchi, but now uh, he was doubtful about his memory. In the evening, Chunilal, Chunilal came to meet him. Chunilal was a school friend of uh, Bibin Babu. He was jobless for quite a few days. And he had been looking after Bibin Babu to help him. Bibin Babu knew that nothing could be done. So he was trying to avoid him. Now Bibin Babu had told his servant uh, to tell Chunilal that he would, wouldn't be able to meet Chunilal. But he was about to leave at that time. Uh, Bibin Babu thought of asking him about the trip of Ranchi uh, in 1958. So he hurried downstairs uh, to talk to Chunilal. Now let us see the next what Chunilal answers. Chuni said, 58. It must have been 58 or was it 59? You are sure that I did go to Ranchi? Chuni's look of amazement was not unmixed with worry. Here, uh, amazement was not unmixed with worry means surprised and worried. Do you, rem do you mean you have doubts about having gone at all? Did I go? Do you remember clearly? Chuni sat down on the sofa, fixed Bibin Babu with a long, hard stare and said, Bibin, have you taken to drug or something? As far as I know, you had a clean record where such things were concerned. I know that old friendship don't mean much to you, but at least you had a good memory. You can really mean that you have forgotten about the Ranchi trip? Bibin Babu had to turn away from Chuni's incredulous stare. 
incredulous means unbelieving do you remember what my last job was asked chunilal of course you worked in a travel agency you remember that and you don't remember that it it was i who fixed up your railway booking for ranchi i went to the station to see you off one of the fans in your compartment was not working i got an electrician to fix it have you forgotten everything whatever is the matter with you you don't look too well you know bibin babu sighed and shook his head i have been working too hard he said at last that must be the reason must see about consulting a specialist must see about consulting a specialist means may have to consult doubtless it was bibin's condition which made chunilal leave without men- mentioning anything about a job bibin babu was shocked when chunilal also confirmed he had been to ranchi he asked him did he really remember that chunilal answered that he was uh, at that time working in a travel agency and he was the one who had arranged bibin babu's ranchi ticket and also uh, got the fan repaired in his compartment bibin babu was speechless at that time chunilal advised him to go to a doctor and to get himself treated on seeing his bad condition chunilal did not ask anything about the job now what happens next let us see parish chanta was a young physician with a pair of bright eyes and a sharp nose here physician means doctor he became thoughtful when he heard about bibin babu's symptoms look dr chanda said bibin babu desperately you must cure me of this horrible illness i can tell you how it is affecting my work dr chanda shook his head you know what mr chaudhary he said i have never had to deal with a case such as yours frankly this is quite outside my field of experience but i have one suggestion i don't know if it it will work but it's worth a try it can do no harm bibin babu leant forward anxiously leant here means bent and anxiously means nervously as far as i can make out said dr chanda and i think you are of the same opinion you must have been to ranchi but due to some unknown reason the entire episode has slipped out of your mind what i suggest is that you go to ranchi once again the sight of the place may remind you of your trip this is not impossible more than that i cannot do at the moment i am prescribing here prescribing means advising prescribing a nerve tonic and a tranquilizer here tranquilizer meaning is given uh, here a medicine to reduce stress and anxiety sleep is essential or the symptoms will get more pronounced here pronounced means strong bibin babu felt somewhat better the next morning after breakfast he rang up his office gave some instructions and then procured procured here means got with a little difficulty procured a first class ticket for ranchi for the same evening 
After being advised by Chunilal to consult a doctor, he went to Dr. Paresh Chanda. Paresh Chanda was a physician, but he had never encountered a case like that of Bibin Babu. So he prescribed a nerve tonic and a tranquilizer so that Bibin Babu will be able to sleep. He also advised Bibin Babu uh, to go back to Ranchi to see the site of the place and that may uh, remind uh, him his trip. Bibin Babu slept that night and in the next morning uh, he was feeling better because of the medication. He booked the ticket to uh, ticket for Ranchi and in the evening he left for Ranchi. That's the end of the part 3. There are two questions in the comprehension check. Let us discuss them and answers will be flashed in front of you. Comprehension check question number 1. Who was Chunilal? What did he want from Bibin Babu? Answer 1. Uh, Chunilal was Bibin Babu's schoolmate. He was jobless and wanted Bibin Babu to help him with his problem. Question 2. Why was Dr. Chanda puzzled? Uh, what was unusual about Bibin Babu's loss of memory? Answer 2. Dr. Chanda had never uh, dealt with such a problem uh, which is why he was puzzled. The most unusual uh, was that Bibin Babu lost his memory. That, uh, that's why he remembered everything of the past except one particular incident. Chunilal was the third person who had confirmed him uh, about his Ranji trip. Now let us see what happens when he went to Ranji. Uh, was he able to remember? Everything will be cleared in the last part of the lesson. In the next video we will see that. Till then, bye.